Greetings and welcome to our second installment of Soup and Scripture 2021 with free home delivery. We, uh, we pray that uh, you and your family will be nourished both physically and spiritually as you try some of the great recipes from our wonderful soup makers who have uh, developed a reputation here in the uh, Manasquan area and that you uh, dig in to uh, the scripture lessons that, that we're presenting to you. The, the theme is Jesus prays in the garden. Jesus is in the garden by himself. He's, he's brought three of the disciples with him, but they've fallen asleep. <laughs> I love those guys, as you know. And uh, he's by himself, but he's praying to the Father, all right? And he's pouring his heart out in prayer because he knows what's coming. The arrest, the, the trumped up trial, the execution, the pain, the suffering, he knows that's coming. So today's scripture lesson is from John chapter 17, beginning with verse 4. This is Jesus speaking, praying to the Father. He says this, I have brought you glory on earth by completing the work you have given me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you, before the world began. An awesome little chunk of Jesus' prayer where he says some really fascinating things. He says, Father, it's time to glorify me uh, because I've completed the work that you gave me to do. Isn't that an amazing thing? Isn't that a great feeling? You all can understand and appreciate and feel how good it feels when you have completed something, when you dot the last I and you put in the last period and you, you put in the last nail or screw and you just finish a project. You finish something that you've been working on that's really important to you. And Jesus says, God, you gave it to me and I've completed it. And then he says, now, let's get back to the glory that we had before the world even began. So, the, 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 the interesting questions for us as followers of Jesus, as disciples of Jesus, is how do we know what our purpose is? How do we know what God has for us to complete? So that we can feel that same sense of, of tell us, that, that, that coming to the end, the, reaching the goal. The Greek word for end means the same thing as our, our word for end. It's tell us, and it means to the finish of something, but it also means the completion of something. How can we feel that? And how do we know what our purpose is from God so that we can say the same thing, that you, we've done the work that you've given us to do. We've finished the task. Well, I think that for that, we need to look to the life of Jesus. What is the work that God gave his son to do? To come to earth and to love, to teach us how God loves us, and to teach us how to love one another. I think that's the clue, and that's the key. That we, if you want to know what your, your task on earth from God is, if we want to know, as followers of Jesus, what God wants from us, we need to look to the one new command, only one, that Jesus gave us in the new covenant, and that is this that we love one another as he has loved us. This is the completion, 
that Jesus has. He humbled himself. He left that glory that he had in perfect union with God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. He left that glorification and that perfection to come to earth to find anything but to be tired and hungry and spit on and laughed at and, and whipped and crucified. But he brought glory back on that Easter morning as this Lent leads us to that point. He brought glory to God by loving us through it all, by forgiving us through it all, and by loving us with a humble and giving and forgiving and sacrificial love. So it's never too late for us to fulfill God's purpose. And it's never too early for us to fulfill God's purpose. It doesn't take youth. It doesn't take strength. It doesn't take wisdom. It just takes the understanding that what our calling is, is to love one another the way Christ has loved us. So asking the question, what does love require of me? And answering it with our hearts, with our hands, with our lives, with our actions, with our beliefs, to love one another. That's what God has called us to. So as you discuss the, the questions for today, just discuss them and, and think about them and reflect on them. Enjoy some time together as a family and ask yourselves as individuals, as groups, what does love require of me? How can I fulfill the purpose that God has given me? I can do it by loving someone with sacrificial, giving, caring love. And I can stand before God whenever that time comes and say, I've completed the work that you gave me to do. Have a blessed Wednesday of Lent, and I'll see you again later on in the series. And we look forward to coming into your homes every week with home delivery, soup and scripture. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, thank you for sending Jesus to love us so perfectly and beautifully. Thank you that he has given us the model of how you love us and how to love others. Thank you for making it clear to us. Be with us and shine the light of love upon us. In Jesus' name, amen. Arms
children.